I think that what they need to do is see all of those crises. That's why you can see inflationary ones and see all of those. And once you get that perspective. Ray Dalio knows a thing or two billion about the stock market. His net worth is over 10 times that amount, thanks in significant part to his role in launching Bridgewater Associates, the world's largest hedge firm with assets worth more than 150 billion. During his stay at the summit of the Money Mountain, Dalio has observed decades of history. Here's Ray Dalio, asset bubble is collapsing, and it's worse in 2008. And by the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos, and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now let's get into it, ready? To thank you for watching this video, we're offering you an absolutely free training webinar. Have you ever wondered how to end procrastination and self-sabotage so you can unleash your full potential to live the life you deserve? Number one best-selling author and high-performance coach Peter Sage is hosting a free webinar where he'll teach you how to increase your wealth with less time and struggle, and also how to hyper-boost your growth and success so you can finally break out of any rut you find yourself in. Right now, Peter and his team are offering a free $100 gift to anyone who doesn't find his webinar as the best use of their time within the last five years. Now, let's get back to the video. Despite not expressing full-fledged panic, he forecasts that darkness will cover the next chapters based on historical and metrical concerns about prior periods when the markets indicated a dangerous bubble about to burst. During the 10-minute discussion of Dalio expert opinion regarding stocks being in a bubble, he addressed these precise issues. Let's look at the first factor. First, you know how high our prices relative to the traditional measures of prices is a consideration. For example, you know our PE is high or yields are low and that kind of thing. That's a consideration, but it's not what I mean by a bubble. Let's say, for example, you can have prices high, which means that the return is low and you can have that go on for a long time. That doesn't mean a bubble pops. So I'm really looking at whether you get a pop but still it's an ingredient. Dalio believes we're in a slightly frothy situation, which is marked as yellow in the video as a precautionary measure based on prices being high relative to traditional measurements. In other words, it's not a full stop bubble, but it's also not in the clear. PE ratios were stated by Dalio, but let's look at its superior Schiller PE ratio to examine Dalio's initial claim. What makes Robert Schiller's ratio preferable to the P.E. ratio is that it eliminates the fluctuation of the ratio caused by variations in profit margins during business cycles, making it a better approach to gauge market valuation accuracy. The standard P.E. ratio is calculated by dividing the S&P 500 index by the trailing 12-month earnings of S&P 500 businesses, companies of strong profit margins and earnings during economic expansions. As a result of the higher earnings, the P.E. ratio becomes artificially low. Profit margins are low and earnings are poor during recessions. The usual P.E. ratio rises as a result. As of this writing, the Schiller P.E. ratio is a whopping 37.93. So high, in fact, that we haven't been this high since November of 2000. That year has a terrifying significance. We'd say it signals full-fledged bubble conditions, but Schiller isn't quite there yet because stocks have a P.E. ratio that is more than 3.5 points lower than most bond markets. There's a lot of variability in the readings across the market. Dalio remarked in a LinkedIn article further outlining his position on these six issues. Some stocks, such as young tech businesses, are in tremendous bubbles. Some stocks, on the other hand, are not in any way in a bubble. Always conduct your own due diligence before investing and proceed with caution. Let's now discuss pricing that reflects unsustainable situations. This one appears to be difficult to understand, but Dalio elaborated with an example in a Bloomberg interview in May. In these terms, he noted, around 10% of equities are pricing in more than 20% sales growth and margin increase. Only about 2% of equities have ever done so in the past. You don't have to run the world's largest hedge fund to recognize that we're dealing with a major outlier that flags unsustainable behavior. Dalio is referring to the growth rate without base effects, which is linked to inflation and price increases. If the rate of inflation was low in the previous year's corresponding period, even a little increase in the price index will result in a high rate of inflation in the current year. The current gap may be due to inflation, but in normal times, we're dealing with a complete oddity. We believe Dalio thinks that current stock prices do not overlook what is going on, and that's because they accurately reflect it. He does not consider it a bubble indication. There's the speculative element. Number three, so one of those measures of the speculative elements, is new buyers in the market. They're attracted in the market. You know, it's the sort of thing where you know you go to a cocktail party and people are never involved in that thing or investing in it. 
And that could be tech stocks. And it could be real estate and whatever. But you know, they're drawn in and that there's a big bullish sentiment. So not having these things makes you feel dumb. That kind of thing. So thank you for watching this video. We're offering you an absolutely free training webinar. How would you feel knowing that you could pay every bill you have right now as well as any future bills that come in? Commission Hero is a proven system that has helped over 8,000 people earn upwards of $1,000 a day or more. The best part is that there is zero experience needed to get started. In this free training, Robbie Blanchard and his team will teach you the top three secrets to how and why this system works and how it can also work for you. Join the thousands of people who have found success and financial freedom using Commission Hero. Right now, the first 100 people that use the link below will get access to this free webinar. Now let's get back to the video. The issue with new buyers joining the market arises when swarms of investors pour so much money into the bubble that it becomes unsustainable in terms of the revenue it generates. When these investors run out of money and the supply of stocks outnumbers the demand to keep buying, the stock market game might become a bubble. The current state of this site is described by Dalio as frothy. It's very reasonable to raise the red flag. The market is flooded with new purchasers. Case in point, Robin Hood in quarter one. The user base grew to 18 million people and income grew to $420 million. More than four times the revenue quarter one of 2020. The GME debacle brought Wall Street to Main Street and prompted a slew of new investors to enter the market. The Wall Street Bets subreddit alone now has 10.6 million subscribers. And while they're all new participants, we know that many are. If the average investment was $1,000, you'd be looking at $10.6 billion company. This isn't even taken into account non-internet users who have decided to get involved after hearing about the Bitcoin frenzy, etc. Similarly, Dalio sees the current market conditions as having a broad bullish sentiment, which he defines as a frothy positive outlook on future market conditions. Fear of missing out, or FOMO, has taken over the world, particularly given how popular new instruments are on the market. Many of the previously mentioned newcomers to the game lack the necessary experience to see the big picture. As a result, they witness the speculative hype believers delight and believe that stonks will rise. Bitcoin is a large support base and remains all in. Whether volatility follows the value or whether there is a significant shift. In principle, these individuals may be huge winners. However, there is no history in the bullish thought process, prompting Michael Burry to call it the world's largest speculative bubble. In the face of high chance of inflation, even senior investors are flocking to gold as ironclad investment. Even as previously said, the historical link between high gold performance and inflation levels is relatively modest. Again, a false sentiment is created by blind faith. High leverage purchases are when people acquire large assets with money they don't have merely because they believe the asset will rise in value. The circumstances creates a massive bubble in which people become overextended and feel compelled to sell assets promptly, resulting in spiraling price pressure and tragically a crash. In a nutshell, the 2008 financial crisis. The high debt culture in which we now live, created 13 years ago, solves the problem. Existing debt, such as the massive increase in student loan debt, limits many people's capacity to make large purchases using high leverage. The average age of a homeowner is 32 years old. Millennials, on the other hand, are statistically not doing well financially. Most will not be able to buy a home or achieve financial independence until they're in their 30s. Keep in mind that many boomers and Gen Xers experienced financial hardships as a result of the 2008 financial crisis. As a result, every valuable bubble to which Dalio parallels today's conditions was in bubble state, prompting the cautious designation quite frothy. The last indication examines whether buyers make unusually long advanced purchases in order to speculate or hedge against future price increases. Building stockpiles and contracting forward purchases are two examples Dalio uses. When the retail sector fails to recognize that it is in the midst of a forward buying bubble, and doesn't comprehend why sales are robust today, but sluggish in the future, a forward buying bubble can form. What do you think about Ray Dalio? Asset bubble is collapsing, and it's worse than 2008. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we continue giving you the best contents. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.